Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Pillars of Eternity. As I continue my blind let's play. Yes. Alright. So, um This time we're gonna we just completed that side quest with the medallion. Indeed. And I'm actually gonna go back to the keep now. Uh check on Durance, kinda check on things. And I'm probably gonna spend a lot of money to get gather up uh those forces. Um or those extra forces, you know? Just to have that, you know, already done out of the way, just so I don't have to save up that money anymore. Oh good, the, indeed. the drunkards has uh left the keep. You know, I also wonder if that ogre is here. I guess I'll find that out as well. You know, let's uh there we go. Just so we have that updated. And let us journey inside. I just love that we have this shock mage that's just right at the front here. Mm -hmm. Everything seems to be in order. Alright, what's up, Marshal? Lord Gathman's army grows, Osiris. Do not ignore this threat. I hope this is in time. I'm going to assume it's not. So I'm, I'm going to take a lot of time before we try to do this. So, uh, I, you know, given the dialogue options, I doubt it is, but... Alright, let's talk about my army. Uh, the Marshal nods. We need to recruit uh, veteran troops. Now, a couple of two veterans that will be willing to join us for a bit of coin. I'd say 10,000 coppers should cover the expenses. Let's go ahead and do that. It will be done. That's all for now. Actually, what's the status of my troops? It's as good as it can be, given the circumstances. With the willingness to spend coin, we should attract some veteran warriors as well. They'll be useful for their experience and will help with morale if the situation becomes dire. Gotcha. Um, do I have any special allies available? Shakes his head. No one has offered their help. Possible find an ally and defiance bang on the knights. The dozens, or if you're truly desperate, House Dominell. That's right, House Dominell. So I, I was, I had that inkling right. Okay, so the knights, the dozens, and uh, Dominell. I, I think the dozens, is that the one? I want to say it's that, that's the one with the expedition hall. Um, so, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll see. Oh yeah, and currently the White March, if we went, went north, I need, that's why, I need to go ahead and, well not go ahead, but at some point, um, th thank you Marshall, um, start their White March and all that stuff to try to get those forces as well, that'll be handy. So another reason to actually go ahead and, you know, and start the expansions. Alright, let's talk to the steward. What's the state of the keep? Uh, people starting to notice your hard work. I dare say we'll have more visitors shortly. I'm glad you decided to stay on, my lady. It's been difficult watching this place tumble and decay time and again. To see it restored is, I can imagine, the great crowds and the petitioners, music perhaps in the evenings. Oh, I've gotten carried away, haven't I? Here's the report. Well, even if you've gotten carried away, I mean, still, it's, uh... Uh, uh... What's the word? It's... Oh, finished in three hours. Excellent. It's more than welcome. That's what I'm trying to say. So if that's finished in three hours, heck, I'm just going to like take a rest and then uh, start on... Uh, probably one of the walls, I would imagine. There's the west, coming forth from the west, from the south. Is there anything else? Hang on, let's let's check. Not really. Um, yeah, I think I'll I'll start with the walls next. So yeah, let us. Uh, you know what? Let us go to the other spot before we do anything. Um, the. 
What am I trying to say? The other building. Because I'm pretty sure that's where Durance is at. Maybe we'll rest in there. Oh. Oh, a gold pack knight. Everything seems to be in order. Let's take a look at him. Whoa. There we go. Nice. Looks like a dwarf. And I had another person. They're probably around here somewhere. It was the shock mage, the gold pack tonight, and somebody. Yeah, this definitely needs cleaning up. Got the kitchen. I'm guessing Durance is upstairs. Yeah, this definitely needs cleaning up. Okay. Let's, uh, quickly take a look around. Hang on. Not in there. Oh, there he is. Okay. So, whoops, wrong button. Stop that, and we'll take a rest. Wind's Lodge construction complete. So, Grieving Mother, you feel a presence hovering nearby. When you turn, you see the Grieving Mother observing you. Concern crinkles the concerns. Corners, God. Concern crinkles the corners of her eyes and seeps into your mind. You wear a call of your own. Or cowl, I should say. Watcher. I see you shrouded by old lives and unanswered questions. Yes, I felt them more and more of late. This is why we journey together. That one may draw strength from many, and that much may be mended by the purpose of one. As she peers at you, her brow seems creased with some new kind of anxiety. Your obscure past, does it trouble you? Um, you know, it kind of does. I don't know what's in there, and that tr that's what troubles me. Take care, Watcher. Do not let the unknown chapters of your soul thwart your present, present endeavors. You must fortify your mind and find clarity in your purpose. She retreats from you, fading into the background. If you did not already know she was here, you suspect you wouldn't notice her at all. Or well, isn't that charming? Alright, the Warden's Lodge is com complete, so let us... Oh yeah, what was the other guy? Gold Pact... Vanguard Soldier, that's what it was. Gotcha. So let us do... So each have four. I have 6,000. Well, let's do the south wall. Four days? Yeah, they both take four days. Okay. Because, yeah, let's just, you know, ups that, uh, up that security for sure. Mm. Alright, Durrance, how are you holding up? Does something ail you? I had questions I want to ask you. If doubts and curiosity plague you, you're skinning your knuckles on the wrong door. I want to know more about you. He grunts. Um. Are those the same robes you wore at Halgot? Why do I? The tension in his face slips into irritation. Your memory is both a curse and a curse. Yeah, that's what it says. Okay, okay, yeah. I wore these on our pilgrimage to Halgat, as well as after. He glances at them. We were to travel quietly. So few would know our religion, our intent, like executioners with robes instead of hoods. Um, I'm pretty sure I already know how they got burned, but I'm going to ask this question anyways. 
These robes are the ones I wore at the Citadel when the god Hammer was triggered. Yeah, I, I thought so. Imagine a campfire, then a field of them. He cradles his uh, staff. Then from uh, them into a sphere and let it grow until it fills the air. Its violence ran through my staff and my spirit like a hundred lightnings, and all around me was flame. It tore at my skin, even burst vessels in my flesh. Yet these robes survived. And you've worn them ever since. I do hope he's washed them. If Margaret deemed I should wear ash while dispensing her justice, then so be it. We exist at her pleasure, and for her pleasure. He shrugs. Either way, she answers my call, quietly or loudly, but her colors seem weak in comparison to the X one does in her name. And quiet is how I prefer. I find others of my faith do not tend to take me for a second glance if, they fire, if the fire of my spirit does not grace my staff. I had other questions about you. Um... Where are you from, Durrance? Where I hail from? Yeah. From one of Margren's fires. A cathedral. Ashfall. Made of blackened trees. I studied the scriptures there. The fires carved into the land. The trunks of the burnt trees. And in the factories where the rifles and cartridges were shaped. All are chapels in other devotions. Tell me about Ashfall. He grunts. You're more curious about it than most of Margaret's faithful. What is the Citadel like? Massive. Beautiful. Blessed by the goddess. Flame cannot strike it twice. Durrance's eyes travel to his ashen staff studying the etchings. Beneath, tunnels and chambers, bellows and fire pits. And many of the faithful looking for a means to bring fire to the world. He turns his gaze from the staff to you. Guns, explosive, alchemy. All of these are our holy symbols, and we are eager to share. What else can you tell about Ashfall? What's more to tell? He frowns. It is one of the greatest fires of Mogren, the High Seat. Some say the blackest, not of evil, but of ash. All that remains after fire has fed. I call it, uh, I call it uh, cathedral before. That's not the full truth of it. It's more a battlefield. It lies in the heart of the War of Black Trees. It's timbers built from the burnt forest there. Each timber blessed by fire and one of Mogren's greatest battles. Many of us helped shape the war effort there with flames and firearms. Kind of sounds dangerous. We do not share the road, Watcher. Save your questions for another day. Oh, oh okay. Sorry, man. I'm here. All Ready, right, Watcher. Uh, Sagani, let's let's talk. Um, I'm curious about your search for uh, pers per per squa per wow, <laughs> however you pronounce it, <laughs> per persk whatever. I, I I'm just gonna butcher it every time. So <laughs> I'll tell you what I can. But Tarnak, uh, es uh, Elitas, Tasca, uh, ta oh my god. Pilgrimages, like mine, are rare. Um... Are elders usually reborn so far from the village? Most often, they return somewhere in uh, Nasitakwa. A member of another village. Or they're reborn among the uh, Glim Felon of the white that wins. Even so, it's hard to say what's usual. When my grandfather was a boy, the elder came back as a polar bear. Oh joy! The huntress chosen for the task had to re recite half of her village's deeds while running from the beast. Oh, wow, okay. Even so, there have been uh, journeys longer than mine. Some last decades, and the huntress does not always return. Why do people have this tradition? She pulls the bear figurine out from her satchel, running f her finger along its smooth back. It's something we've always done. The elders say it was first began to forge ties with other villages. It's hard to fight over Karabao herds, but when you see someone, you respect on the other side. Or herds when you... I think I added a butt or something. Whatever. 
Anyways, we also believe that passing our history on in this way keeps us stronger, and it helps them. The elders, I mean, return to us after they've been away from us for a generation or more. They can, get, they can use these experiences they've accumulated over lifetimes to lead the village again. What happens when the elder is found? That depends on the man or the woman he's become. It's easiest when the rebirth happens in another village of uh, Nastakwa, or Nast however you say that place, gosh dang it, where the tradition is understood. Even in the white that wins and the southern islands of the Deadfire Archipelago, people understand this custom and it will welcome you politely enough, even if their souls do not remember. She shrugs, but sometimes you find someone whose soul has no memory of the village. You have to tell him of the people who remember him still. As disheartening as this is, you hope that the reminder will aid his soul in the future in a future life. So how'd you get picked? Another old village tradition. The elders watch the Karabao migrations and cast seal bones to determine the right time for this journey. When the omens were determined, all the village wives drew shark teeth. We're the ones that go away to hunt and fish, so we're the best suited for the task, like this. Anyway, I grabbed the little tooth. Traveling so far is a rare privilege for us, privilege for us. but as you can see, the journey can be unpredictable. Shoot, okay. That's uh, pretty awesome, but also unfortunate that she got picked, but anyways. But also, I guess you could also say it's a great honor at the same time, but whatever. So what are your thoughts on uh, my search so far? Helps to know what you're hunting. You've got a lot of tracks to follow, but where they'll lead us is anyone's guess. Let's move on. Hi? You have anything else? No, you don't, Ayla. All right. Um, grieving Your mother. Mind comes bearing questions, watcher. Yes, I do. Um, I'd like to know more about you. And I, you. In asking, we reveal ourselves to each other. Why you call the grieving mother? The air seems to go still for a moment and time stretches as it did before when the two of you first met there is a wash of uncertainty from her mind slowly shaping into questions that swirl and do not coalesce she does not move she seems paralyzed as if you have just wrapped her in a cold blanket that is a question for you not i that is not my name although if you wish to hang the title on me i cannot stop you is that what you see when your eyes fall upon me so I named you. As a watcher, you may see what I do not, or your mind shapes the thought I project into a new meaning. There is truth in that title, but it's not all I am. So what, did you, what do you grieve him? You must have felt it, seen it. It, is, uh, it has many names as the pain it has caused. As the words take shape, they seem to tumble from her, and the wave is great, rushing into your mind. To your surprise, you feel as if you've been touched by the Baywick, the Baywick again, and behind it, cutting through the torrent like a knife, are the thoughts of the grieving mother. There is a wound cut across the belly of the world, a jagged knife that has stripped the stems from men and carved furrows across the wombs of women. Well, that's a cheery thought. There is much I have forgotten, but I can feel the wound all around me. It will not let me rest, not let me be. The children have gone silent, yet their voices may be heard again. Are you speaking of the hollow bone? The word. There is a slowness of thoughts, as if the word is being weighed, accepted. It doesn't feel natural to her, you can sense it. She picks up. Was once unknown to me as was much of what unfolded in the outside world. When the curse came upon us, I thought it a smaller thing, a thing of communities and hearts. Her thoughts seemed to stumble. It was only when I walked that I feel it stretching out around me in all of the cracks of the world. Children have been cursed. I do not think it was something they caused, nor something deserved. 
that which is inside them have been torn away. I do not know how, but this wound must be stitched closed. The world bleeds forth from between a woman's legs. Okay, <laughs> if this blood is not seamed or stemmed, sorry, God, the world will die and grow quiet. Do you know what its cause? There is a uh, uh, desperation, a welling feel, fear. Goodness, you can almost feel her thoughts shivering, and you realize she is at, as lost as you are on the matter. Then a sudden sharp clarity. I shall know it through you. Your eyes will track the cause, find the path, and I will be beside you. There is no wound that cannot be healed. And if you are truly a watcher, then this wound may be seen for what it is. He saw me where I hid. Whoever's hands have stilled the world, you shall see them too. And if there's no way to heal it, what then? I will be there, and you will do what you must. Uh, you will given you will you were given your sight so that you may watch the world and you will tend it. The children shall have their voice again, and if you will will if your will is weak, then I shall strengthen it. Lean upon me. You feel the weight in her words as if her hands are on your shoulders as I lean upon you. Your eyes, you sh goodness. I am so sorry, everyone. You shall be my eyes as I shall be your hands when the time comes. Let's continue our journey for now. Thank you for the talk. Hey. What's up, Adir? What's on your mind? Um... Tell me about your brother. Woden was, uh, about everything you'd want your firstborn son to be. Dutiful, honest, put thought into everything he did. <laughs> Real pain in my ass. Made me look bad about every way he could. It wasn't something he tried to do, but of course that just makes it worse. Not that he didn't get into trouble himself. He was just better about feeling guilty after. But we used to have this farmer near us, Harroward. Couldn't stop talking about how well he cared for his chickens. How their feathers were the whitest in town. Convinced the butcher to pay him double what the other farmers got. Me and Woden got tired of hearing it. I was maybe 11, 12 at the time. We, uh, we borrowed about six different dyes from the dyer one night. Dyed Harrowward's chickens every color but white. Next morning, the butcher comes knocking, asking for six of his whitest chickens. <laughs> we were feeling great. And up until Harrowward saw what we'd done. He just got on his knees and cried right there. All those colorful chickens around him not knowing what to make of it. I thought it served him right, but I could tell Woden had other thoughts. Sure enough, the next day, every one of those chickens had been scrubbed down. They weren't white, mind you, but Woden sure tried. Never said a word to me about it, but I knew. That was Woden. My parents, they always let us be who we were. Never told me to be more like him or anything like that. Which was good. Because I was never gonna. What's on your mind? Thank you for the story, Adair. Let's keep going. Following your lead. Yes, my friend? Uh, tell me about yourself, Kana. Hmm. What shall I tell? I am Kana Rua, born in the royal city of Takoa, from which rules the Ranga Nui. There. <laughs> that is a solemn enough start. I am a lore chanter in the college there. Or, at least, a student of lore, and a chanter both. What made you leave the college? I was on the usual path at first. Theology, the traditions, when the Gate of Great Teeth was completed. It was all my father had hoped for. The greatest commission he had ever received. But it was also a sign that Rawatai was changing, looking inward. Meanwhile, I was neck deep in the writing of a dozen nations, marveling at all the things that lay beyond our borders. And in so many of the books and records, I found accounts of an ancient Ngwithin. The Adeans hold a great hunger for Ngwithin relics. Why, why shouldn't they? It was a civili civilization from which the Gumpothans learned to read souls. I decided that my third degree would be in history, goodness man, and that I would study the Ngwithins. 
They were at the heart of such discussion abroad, so many discoveries. It drew some mockery. We warned uh, uh, a deer draw it itself into several conflicts with the Gunflathans over these ruins. Tia, uh, Tico, T Tacoa had its own concerns. And soon I found it, a section of the Tanvul Oratoa, in the Adean translation of an ancient Anguithan script, just there, without explanation. It seemed like a gift from the gods. Would you like? What would? Uh, what would you like to know now? Uh, do you have any family back in Ralta? I have five older siblings, and my mother and father. My father is a coal, coal mason, and favored by the Ranganui. It was he who engineered the great gate of teeth. My two brothers have taken up my father's work, and my mother encouraged my sister to sail. It leaves me free to pursue other things. There is a wealth of knowledge just within the walls of the college, and beyond it, more than I could learn in ten lifetimes. Huh. But I can try all the same. Uh, I had other questions. Tell me about the Ratai. Ah, Ratai. Ratai. Shall I describe the pearl white sands, the sapphire waters, the multi hued tiles of the rooftops, like a mosaic upon the coast? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Do only Amari uh, live there? Far from it. The Amara, or Harvey say it. Uh, arrived more recently and formed the greater number, but others have joined us, so long as they call themselves subjects of the Ranganui. Some of my neighbors are Orleans, for instance. Fine people, though they care little for the sea. It sounds like you miss home. Some parts of it. Those silver cliffs, the sea, those at least no one can change, you know. The day I board the ship for the Adir, the sunrise was gold upon the water, and I nearly leapt overboard and swam home. Talk about the city you're from. Tokoa is doubly famed, a royal city and home to the Coral Harbor. The Ranganui's palace is there, and we've a fleet of royal ships sitting outside the Gate of Great Teeth. Every so often, you'll hear the roar of a cannon being tested. The finest ships in Rautai, and so the world, and, and are anchored there, and some of our brightest minds toll away at their artillery. My mother, for instance. Myself, I have no tal talent with gunpowder. Tacoa is also home to the lower college, of course, and we get a great many people traveling long distances to speak with the lore keeper, or else hear the chants and pursue the books, peruse the books, my bad. At least that is how it was when I was younger. Things were a little different when I left. Ooh, I, ooh, I like how this came in. Surely Valian ships are the finest. The grandest, sure. Houses on the water. Give me a sleek route tie catch heavy with cannons and I'll s still run circles around your Valian carcass. Car car cracks. Goodness. So, uh... I think that's I think that's uh that's good. So you're be actually yeah, so you're being hunted by the leaden key? Actually oh wait, he says uh I'm sorry. Ask all you like. A chance's purpose lies in telling the stories, mostly true stories at that. So yeah, you're being hunted by a leaden key. So it seems it's rather absurd. What harm can I possibly do by finding this text? Perhaps they don't like uh Rautai. You, uh, actually, yeah, how did all this begin? I ran into them in Adair. Or rather, they sought me out. In Adair, there were many people who had observed the Gwythin ruins in the Darwin. And I spent some time conferring with experts. In the libraries, I found accounts of sites in Emetel. Uh, and it was there I traveled next. But just before I found myself approached uh, by a woman in dark robes, who bade me abandon my studies for my own safety. I ignored her, of course. But I began to have the sense after that. Have, yeah. 
of being followed, and after that, well, one ambush on the road I call misfortune. But three? So, who are these people? I thought it only fair to delve into their activities in turn. I found word of a leaden key, but past that it was all ravings and superstitions. I might as well have gone around asking whether someone had ever seen a whale flying through the air. Some might well tell me yes, but the validity of the accounts is questionable. You don't seem really worried about this. They haven't had much luck. The last one that came on me at a dig site and slipped on a muddy beam. I tried to catch him, reflex, I should think, but he went right over the side and down a hundred feet. I'm not really sure what he had in mind, but I doubt that was it. Well, damn. Alright, let's be on our way. Yes. Oh, so anybody, uh, that has stuck with me that far, thank you. <laughs> I think this is gonna be definitely the get to know the party more session. Alright, we do now have the warden complete. Um, I don't know if it's actually inside this building. I need to check. I think I might need to end the session. This session, wow. The the video soon. Um, just because my my throat's getting kind of dry from reading all this. Um, that's, that's the wrong. Indeed. That's the wrong button. Um, let me see. Where's it at? In the stronghold. Oh, wait. That's it. Yeah, that's right. It's on the outside. So, yeah, let us go to the Warden's Lodge and let us sprint there. Because, yeah, I, I know it said something about having, like, larger or higher bounties or something there, so that'd be cool. All right, let's go inside. There he is. Let's zoom in a little bit. Actually, that's all we can zoom in, so there we go. You hear about the bounties? Good day to you. This grizzled old man takes a puff from his pipe and nods at you. I was wondering when you'd be dropping by. Kith around here have been hit with more than their share of troubles of late. I'm up to my ear and bounty offers. Thinking at least one of these might interest someone with your skills. What are the most recent bounties? Now, I ought to warn you, there is a reason these bounties are still offer, on offer. These are tough bastards, every one of them. If you're up for it now, feel free to come back. If you're not up for it now, excuse me, feel free to come back around when you're better prepared. In the meantime, here's a good batch to start off with. There's the standing bounty on Sly Cridle's head, of course. And there's the forest lurking. Uh, for oh my goodness, I cannot read all of a sudden. Just I mean, it's like a running trend. I, forgive me. There's the forest lurker haunting the trade routes. And this ogre shaman should fetch a good price. And up last is one uh, war chief Akalak. How about, so yeah, four things. Tell me about Sly. This bounty comes all the way from New Haramar. Sly and some of his accomplices have escaped the prison there and killed two Justicars on the way out. The guards are itching after revenge. A man matching his description was last seen near Mogren's Fork. He is well armed and he'll have his friends with him too. Uh, we'll find out with the rest later. Mogren's Fork. Gotcha. Where is that at? As I lose, start losing my voice. Oh, right there. Gotcha. Goodness. <clears throat> so before we do anything else, let's save it. Let's go ahead and save it. Stones and the spirits in this place have begun to heal. Before we wrap up, 
I'm actually going to try to go to Mogwin's Fork and take care of that really fast. See what it nets us. Because, yeah, we're just over 4,000. We're going to need another 2,500 for the other part of the wall. See you when I see you. Oh, no. Hey. Don't don't dismiss. There we go. Yeah, accept that. Mogwin's Fork. 22 hours. Lord, uh, Brynwigar, a cruel ruler- oh, hang on. From the north has arrived at the stronghold. He hopes to gain an audience with you concerning a local rebellion. Well, I hope he's there once, uh... You know, once I take care of this. Let's see, where is that house? I doubt he's there. Oh yeah, we never went up here? I guess we never did. He's maybe they're on the road. Sly, Sly, where are you? Nope. I think. Yep. Uh, Gromfell the Wayfarer. A motley gathering stands at the crossroads. At first glance, the person at the head of the group seems more monster than man. Two large and curling horns emerge from the sides of his skull, forming a hardened carapace that is po pocketed like uh, coral. Down at center is the strange shell splits, revealing the ash gray skin of a man's face, obscured above the nose. The horns might seem a mere helmet, save that in the internal places you cannot tell where the flesh ends and the bone begins. From the neck down, however, this is by all appearances a human man clad in fine armor of the same dark shade as his features. The man smiles, revealing long white teeth from which gums have retracted despite his masked eyes. He looks eerily in your direction. Hail, traveler, and well met. Are you enjoying the fresh air? We... He gestures to the men and women behind him. Are doing much the same. Who are you? I'm Gromfell, lately of a Dan soil. And these... He sweeps his hand, gestures to his comrades. A mere associates. Stop smiling, Fresco. You'll frighten her. What are you doing here? To see what wide one we has what, or find, uh, or find the name of the true architect. Thousands of souls flung out into the world, but only in the deerwood. In a deer, mothers, fathers, coo undeterred over their sprats, uh, and just across the sea they weep. It's worthy of song. So you're a fellow scholar. Have you learned a great deal? Perhaps we could trade tales and. I think not. I have spent some time around the Lord Chanters, keeping your songs, Amari. My uh, pans are too uh, barath alone, and they speak of death. You too have you've too much life in you by far. I've walked a time in Rautai, in the time of lovers' tides, and saw the chaos they brought. But this, this is a true cataclysm. A time of destruction I would observe firsthand. Those storms and plagues pale in comparison. What are you doing on the road, though? A band of brigands such as we, I cannot imagine. It is not an expensive life of ours. Even in the study calamities, one deserves a certain level of comfort, I think. I think our talk is done. Kill that one slow. I want to see the light leaper. Okay. So be it. We're gonna throw a fireball right in the center. And then Aloth continue barraging them. Everybody attack. Actually, Aloth just to make sure. And go. They're still barely injured, my goodness. Everybody turn and attack them. Disengage Aloth, disengage, disengage, nope. That was a mistake. Oh, let's take care of him. Woo! That is not what I expected. Goodness. 
Just Kana. Come on, take him out. Goodness. You know what? Knock him down. There we go. Can't get a good shot with this. Man, we're just all going down, are we? Definitely need to get some new weapons. Or, you know, enchant them or something, you know? Come on. Knock them down. Okay, second win then. There we go. Fine plate mail, or plate armor. Nice, that's why it was uh, pretty difficult. Fine medium shield, fine battle axe. Let's just take it all, but yeah, so. Fine plate mail, you know what? It's 12, 14, we probably, you know what? Let's go ahead and outfit us that as well. That's medium. Is this heavy? Yes, it is. She has light. We definitely need a. I definitely need a. Uh, you know, get them better armor. Indeed. Yes. Yeah, that works. All right. Oh, uh, let's grab this. Fine padded armor. Uh, let me check something. Oh, that's what she has already. Shoot, okay. Yes. All right. So apparently that's not the bounty. Uh, and it looks like we're still... We have no camp. That's right. Um, that's fine. We'll... Uh, let me take a look at this. Uh, where's it at? Oh yeah, the bounty. There we go. Oh, it's pork. Uh, I mean, we're already here. Let me save it really again. Oh, no, don't press, don't press enter. There we go. Okay. So yeah, since we saved it, let's just take a look around really fast, see if we see them. And then uh, we'll try this once in case, you know, things go really bad. There's a troll. We definitely need to rest up though at some point.
Oh, is this them? That law slot, yep. Woo! I need to pay attention. There we go, okay. Lock him down. Aloff. Do this right now. And then... Yeah, do that. Oh no, I think he got charmed. Hello, wizard? Oh no. Let us disengage. I know I just got... crushed, you know? Can I do this? Uh, I need to set that. You know, I need to remember to do that. That's okay. Yeah, I figured that was coming. Aloth, stop, stop standing there. Come on. Aloth, what are you doing? Well, shoot. Hang on. Let's try this one more time. I at least now know where they're at. All right. Oh yeah, and also let's let's do this really fast. I'm here. I shall. Pretty sure they're actually the other way. Wait, did someone level? No, never mind. Hey. Yes. Okay, where's... There's the wizard. Everybody charge the wizard right now. If you can, please. There we go. That's a deer. Everybody's like frightened. Okay, everybody recover. Trying to recover again. Ah, oh, dang it. Not getting through me. Oh, he's in shock. That's what's happening. That's not very helpful. Hey. Wow, he is barely injured. Goodness. Oh, 
Let's do it again. Yeah, come on. There we go. Goodness. Oh, wow. It's a unique a stock, two handed, slow. 14 to 24, which is less, but uh, DR reduction, burn proof, slaying beast, rending. Awesome. Fine plate armor. There's a cape. And the bounty. There we go. Nice. Let's see what they got. Fine robe. Some hoods. Fine leather. Okay, nice. Let's see, where's that fine leather? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and equip him with this one. Okay, and then... I'm gonna give you these boots while we're at it. For the Pilgrim's Lasting Vigil. Oh wait, no that's what he has right now. Oh, okay, duh, duh, okay. So yeah, let's give him another uh, fine plate armor. Perfect. And he has medium. We'll just hold on to this for right now. See anything else? I think we're good. All right. Mm -hmm. Ooh. We'll uh, you know, let's let's do it now. Let's do it now. Let's do survival and let's increase lore. So yeah, let's do Mental f uh, Fortress. Plus 10 defense against Charm, Terrified, Frightened, Dominated, Confused. Yes, let's do that. Okay, a deer. Increase your athletics. And yeah, let's pop up your lore a little bit. Yeah, plus one move speed, plus five defense when disengaging. Yeah, sometimes he might need that. Um, quick switch. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do is a fat, no, hang on. Let's do unstoppable for him. Plus 10 defense against blinded, uh, stuck, prone, hobbled, dazed attacks. Okay, Kana. Lore, and then his mechanics are fine. Let's just do another athletics. Hmm. 
Let's try the para uh, paralyzed one with. Let's do this one, the, the body control. Uh, actually, no. Uh, let's do. Let's do. Uh, let's do the fortitude. Okay, Sagani. Increase stealth. And we're going to do. Let's do accurate wounding shot. Okay, lore and... Oh, that's fine. Foe beam, uh, crush damage, accuracy. Generates a rebounding wave of psychic feedback between the cypher and an ally that causes crush damage to enemies caught in between. Secret horrors. Requires 30 focus. Frightening. Uh, okay. Around air uh, burning over time. Actually, that sounds pretty good. Let's do that one. Soul ignition. And then psychic backlash, I think I'm going to go for. Alright, and Aloth, oh wow, Aloth is almost gone in terms of health. Hmm, let's see. These extra uh, summons three missiles that pierce the target and leap to two additional targets. Ooh, that does sound nice. You know what, let's get it. Let's try it. And then bonus level two spell. Yeah, let's do it. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go back to talents. Plus a second level of spell uses. Okay. Actually, no. Let's do first level. Let's do the first level because that's what I've been using a lot. All right. I'm here. Let us get back to the keep. We need to rest. We have no camping supplies. Yeah, everybody is wounded, tired. I know my voice is tired, you know? Just, yeah. And also that one person at the keep wanting an audience, but we'll need to, to rest before we, uh... We're gonna turn in the bounty first. The keep's coming along nicely. Thank you. Hail, right. traveler. Sly Cridle is dead. Good work. They'll be celebrating in uh, New Haramar soon enough. Here's the bounty. 2,250 copper. And that much experience. Wow. Okay. Farewell. Nice. And I know we're level 6 now. I wonder how close we are to level 7. We're probably a ways off, but... All right, and then we're gonna indeed. taxes collected. I need to see if uh, he's still here, that lord. First, we're gonna rest. He might. We're gonna do the the lodge bonus, but he might leave after we rest. But we really need to rest. Okay, it doesn't look like he's left yet. So next time. Cause I'm gonna end the video now because I'm, I'm extremely tired, so forgive me. But next time I'm gonna talk to that lord in the keep, and then we're gonna finally gonna go back to those ruins near the Deerwood Village, and yeah, I think try to finish that out as well. And then, yeah, we'll see what happens from there. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much 
if you stuck with me this far into the video. I, I truly appreciate it. Wherever you guys are, have a good day. Have a good night. And as always, take it easy.